the unit too. Um, it's up to you if you want to name unit two as I have at the top of the board. It is your choice. Typically, I just say science unit one, science unit two. That's basically, that's generally what I do, keep it simple. And um, so yeah, so we are leaving unit one and now all of your documents go to unit two, such as these two. So one of them is textbook, chapter six, and then the other one is uh, questions that you'll do in just a few minutes. So right now you're putting both of those in unit two. Okay. While you're doing that, I want to talk to you about your textbook because this is the first time that I'm giving it to you. Okay, so as a reminder, um, why don't you go ahead and open that textbook document? Okay, I'll slow down. I'll slow down just a little bit because I see that you're still trying to get there. All right. So the textbook, um, it's been digital for a while, um, but I just want to show you that we only have two copies, two hard copies, and they're for each each teacher just came with the package. The textbook is actually shaped like this. It is horizontal. The reason I'm pointing it out to you is that when you look at your PDF files, it may feel like you need to reorientate your, um, <clears throat> your iPad. I just want you to know that the file is horizontal. Um, and then the intro of the chapter is saying it's focusing on energy and machines. So we're going to focus on the energy side of it and not so much the machines. So there's the, the basic um, intro to any textbook. There it is. And then 6.1 is talking about energy and the conservation of energy. And this is what we're going to use this section the most. Um, for instance, um, energy is defined here. Next is going to talk about systems and variables as it relates to an experiment you'll be doing this week. So here is the system that it's referring to, um, our, our roller coaster round system. Um, and then we're going to talk about the variables within the, that system. Next. Uh, later we'll talk about the law of conservation of energy. And then it brings up potential and kinetic energy again as it relates to this roller coaster ramp. And then here is where we kind of veer off and do other things. Like we're not going to talk a whole lot about the energy of your life, uh, nor conservation of energy in this sense. Not in this sense. We'll, we'll bring it up in another way, but not in the example used in this text. And then in the next section, it goes on to work and power machines. So that's where we won't talk about it in eighth grade. Uh, you may have talked about it in elementary school, but um, I just wanted to let you know that that's where we stop. Now, some of you are really interested in all things science, all, all sorts of things science related, simple machines. Hey, if you want to just skim through it, read a little bit, I am not going to stop you. If you just want to do that, that's fine. I just want to let you know that our focus will be on 6.1. Okay, next. The document I gave you is, um, it's, I labeled it number one. Like number one, chapter 6.1. Um, alluding to the idea that there will be a number two and then a number three, maybe. So what I'm getting after is that you will be reading 6.1 with one focus for today. Systems, variables, things like that. Then I'll give you another set of questions where you'll be reading 6.1 with a different focus. And then you'll read 6.1 again with another focus, right? So, um, but it'll come, it'll come uh, whenever you need it. Now, 
To do, um, just to let you know, this focus is about experimental design and systems because that's what you're going to be doing in lab tomorrow. And um, the bulk, like this whole paragraph right here, there is lots of information in this paragraph to answer, let's say, numbers one through four. Numbers one through four. Number five, I am going to, you're going to leave that one blank unless you have prior knowledge, uh, unless this is something that you know or you remember from another class. But it's not found in, uh, in the reading. I'll have to give that to you when we go over it in class tomorrow. And then number six, I tell you exactly where to go. Like read textbook page number 129 and then answer these questions. So this assignment is due tomorrow uh, by 7.55 a.m. Most students have finished it during class. So do you have any questions? Okay, so I want you to work on it independently and uh, ask questions as needed.